Alrighty, welcome to another tabletop sports uh, universe uh, video here, and today we're just gonna do a little one-off, uh, one-off game uh, in my uh, for pursue the pennant actually the classic pursue the pennant. Um, I am doing uh, an offline replay of. Uh, sorry, I forgot to write the date in here, of, uh, um, man, of, uh, the Milwaukee Brewers, as they, uh, they just missed the playoffs, they won 90, uh, 90 games, I believe, that season, but, uh, we are gonna play just kind of a one-off game, and, uh, wanted to record it for you so you can kind of see some classic Pursue the Pennant, as I know there is not a lot of that out on YouTube. So, uh, don't want to beat around the bush. Let's just uh, get right into it and roll for uh, roll for the weather on this uh, weather chart right here. So I'll strap that down right there. And uh, we're going to roll... Uh, two dice in the Great Lake section, as this was a home game for the Brewers, May 22nd of 1987. This is game 37. The Brewers are 22 and 14. They are um, exactly what they were coming into this game, so the replay is doing quite well so far. Uh, I'm not doing as played. I'm just doing whatever team or whatever players were on the team at. Uh, that were carded on each team. So we got a 23 for a night temp here in May. So a cool one. Cool, so that'll have no effect. And um, see what these sky conditions are like. A 30 for May and partly cloudy. So no weird weather effects. Um, couple clouds here and there, and uh, let's see where the wind is blowing here in County Stadium. 73, it is, uh, no wind. No wind. So, let's, uh, just, uh, get right into it and, uh, start rolling here. The, um, the Indians have... Um, Brett Butler leading off, Julio Franco batting second and playing short, Pat Tabler DHing, Joe Carter at first, Mel Hall in left, Brooke Jacoby at third base, Corey Snyder in right, Tommy Hinzo in second at second, and Chris Bando doing the catching. And pitching for them is Scott Bales. So let's get started right away. With Brett Butler here, and uh, first roll and the pitch, and 88. So that's going to be a hit right away. A single to the grass in center field for Butler. He is a three jump, but right away we are not going to go ahead and steal him. Julio Franco now, and the pitch from Wegman. 9.35, we check Wegman's card versus a righty, and that is going to be our first strikeout. Pat Tabler. Pat Tabler now. A 2.25. And ooh, Wegman hits him. And so he's in a little pickle here early in the first inning. Nothing he hasn't gotten out of before. So here is Joe Carter, a 519. Now we got to check for a wild pitch or past ball. Uh, that, this is the one. 
one kind of complaint I have about the game is they have a lot of charts. So, um, Serhoff's uh, pass ball rating is a fair FR, and uh, Wegman is prone to wild pitches. So we are going to be right there. And the roll, I accidentally rolled to the wrong dice, but it's a 78. And that's going to be a pass ball from Serhoff. So runners are moving, and that takes away the double play chance. And a golden opportunity for Joe Carter early in this one. A269, and oh, he's going to strike out against Wegman. That is not, not what you want to do there. Uh, Mel Hall, the left-hander, left-handed batting. Mel Hall, at 824, he is going to get one across. That's going to be a double. That's a two RBI double for Mel Hall. And the Brewers are already losing to the terrible Cle 1987 Cleveland Indians. Brooke Jacoby now with a runner on second. Wegman the kick in the pitch. 172, and that's going to be another double. Three runs in the first inning. Oh, no. As this is not what the Brewers want to be looking at now. Um, Corey Snyder here. Corey Snyder, the right-handed hitting. Let's see if Wegman can get himself out of this. 280, and he's going to get his third strikeout of the game. But not before allowing three runs to Cleveland in the first inning. So not a great start, but the Brewers got Paul Molitor coming up here to face the Scott Bales of the Cleveland Indians. The pitch, 423 from the lefty Scott Bales and... Well, Molitor's going to pop up to short for the first out. Robin Yantrow. Kick and the pitch. 864. That is going to be a deep fly for Robin Yant. So let's uh, take a look at the deep fly. Let's roll the blue dice for the location. He is hitting. We got... Uh, See if I can see this up here. Now I'll just set it down on the park there. A seven is uh, he is a RSP, so right center, and uh, in County Stadium, right center with no wind. We're looking at a sixteen. Uh, Robin is poor versus lefties, so it is not going to be possible for him to hit one. So, we have the check, but it is not possible, and so that one sucks for the Brewers. And Cecil Cooper now. Scott Bales, the kick and the pitch, 550. Another check. The lefties, we're going to check the infield range. So, like I said, there's a lot of charts that is... Kind of really the only complaint I have about the game is I don't mind the 50-50 system. A lot of people hate it, but I personally do not mind. And uh, let's uh, roll. He's an LSP for the infield range. Roll that off where you roll that. Eight. LSP infield range. Line drive to the shortstop. The shortstop, uh, Julio Franco, is an A. We are on grass surfaces. Line drive A, 0 to 75, he makes it. Oh, and it's going to get over the glove. So, over the glove, um, uh, line drive single for Cecil Cooper. Just got one over the glove of Julio Franco. 
and Rob Deere now. So here comes Rob Deere. I can uh, maybe uh, drive on in a 666. And he's a righty. That's going to be a single line drive to center field. So first and second now. Brewers knocking on the door early. Greg Brock, here it is, 304 versus a lefty O, and that's just in the strikeout range for Brock. And the Brewers threaten, but they get nothing. And Cleveland's uh, Tommy Hinzo up now. And uh, Wegman, 964, that is a high roll, Hinzo batting left, that'll be a hard ground out to second. Uh, Chris Bando, Chris Bando here, a 254 versus the righty, and that'll be a walk. So Wegman struggling with some control this is already one, one, two, three, four, five. If he gets to nine base runners allowed, he is fatigued. So uh, we really gotta he's really gotta relax a little bit here and uh, Brett Butler at the top of the order already back to face Wegman. Wegman a six thirty three versus a lefty. That'll be a high fly out to Robin Yount, and he puts it away for the second out. Now up is Julio Franco. Wegman to Franco, 589. That is going to be a hit by a pitch, and that is the second one of the game for Wegman. Man. Wegman's been really good through this replay so far. He's got two complete games, I believe. And uh, so this is kind of rare. Of course, as I turn the camera on, the Brewers start playing poorly. Uh, Wegman to Pat Tabler now. 882. That is going to be a deep drive check. And uh, let's see where this ball is headed. Tabler, he is poor versus right-handers. A three. Tabler, a righty spray hitter to left center. Left center in County Stadium is a 16, so that will not be enough for a home run as Wegman avoids a few more. So that'll end the inning for Cleveland. It is 3-0 after one and a half. Time for Glenn Braggs. Braggs, a 560. Um, that is going to be infield range. Of course, more charts. And, uh, if, you know, it really depends how long it takes to play a game. This one might be a little longer for you here. Sadly, that uh, we're using lots of charts, and I know some of us hate that. We got an 8 here. So, with the... we... oh, shoot. We are in... oh, infield range. 8 from a RSP is going to be a line drive to second. So, Tommy Hinzo is a B. And, um, 41... He's going to make the play for the first out of the second inning. So, nothing doing for Braggs there. And uh, Dale Swain, no, BJ, BJ Serhoff. A 8.99 from the lefty, and Serhoff strikes out for the second out of the inning. And Dale Swain, no. 
Flames, 776. He's batting right. That'll be a single. Single for Swain. And uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Gantner now. Pitch to Gantner, 0-20. That'll be an error check. Let's uh, roll to, that's going to be on the pitcher. Bales is an error six. So let's roll for him here. Error six on the pitcher, 67. That is going to be a ground out. So Gantner ends the inning. And the Brewers are down 3 nothing after 2. Paul Molitor will be up. Oh, man. Okay, Joe Carter here. Joe Carter. The uh, kick and the pitch. 228. That'll be a grounder over to Paul Molitor for the first out. Hopefully Wegman can settle in here. Now as I say that, I bet you he gives up a hit here. Let's see. 829. And man, uh, am I a uh, mind reader or what? As Mel Hall doubles. Brooke Jacoby now. Right hander. 758 versus the righty. 7. 58, that's going to be a high fly out to left and two away. Corey Snyder, see if he can drive in Mel Hall. A 105, and he might be able to. That's a single on the line in left. Let's see if uh, we want to send him. Single down the line and left, being that it's odd, he does not advance two bases. So, single down the line and left, one plus choice. Uh, our left fielder is a minus one. I believe Hall is a four base running. So, three base running. We're going to try and send him. Yeah, we're going to send him here. So, three. A 39, and he's in standing. So an RBI single from Snyder. And Wegman is struggling here today. Tommy Hinzo. 440, and that'll be the last out, a pop out too short. So... That and now Paul Motter is uh man we are racking up time as we're not even through three yet. Paul Molitor. See if the Brewers can get on the board. 332. He's gonna Ooh, just barely avoid the strikeout. And he'll walk. And the uh Brewers need some Need some runners in scoring position. We're going to go ahead and we're going to try to steal with Paul Molitor. Let's see where our steal chart is. Here it is. Molitor. Um, Bales is a... Oh, let's see. He's a very good hold. Molitor is a three jump. So we're going to roll. And let's see here. So... Very good. Three jump. We rolled a 36. Oh, and he's going to be able to hold Molitor. So Molitor's not going to be able to go. In that case, we're going to call hit and run with uh, Robin, Robin Yount here. 181 on the hit and run, and that is going to work out well for him. 181, single down the line in right field. So, 
single C. I believe Modder goes to third easily. Single down the line and right field runner on first. Oh, it was a one plus choice, I guess. So, but we're gonna, he's a five, Molitor's a five base running and the right fielder, ooh, a minus three from Snyder. But the Brewers need the runner in scoring position. Nobody out, so he's a two. He roll 32 and he'll be into third standing. So the risk paid off. Robin Yount. Seems Brewers playing a little small ball. Now let's see if uh, Cooper can maybe uh, knock one out of here. What do you say? Cecil Cooper, 909. That is not in the works. Is Cooper going to strike out for the first out? That's fine, Rob, Rob Deere, he's got some power. Let's see what he can do versus the lefty. Uh, 532, that's going to be uh, outfield range versus the righty, right-handed pole hitter. Right-handed pole hitter. Let's see where this is going a nine for the outfield into the gap in the left center left fielder hall is a b so into the gap a 28 oh he's gonna make a diving catch but with the runner on third uh diving catch fielder runner on third may attempt to score by going to the coach's choice chart well, he's definitely going to attempt because Hall is a plus one throwing. So let's see if Deer can get the sack fly and get Molitor in. Now, um, where? Again, all these charts tend to uh, slow the game down quite a bit. But there it is. So a six speed. Six base running from Molitor. Uh, he's going to be safe on a... Oh, and he's going to get a safe plus here. So that means Yount will get to advance as well. So, a sack fly from Rob Deer 1 RBI. And the Brewers get on the board. Greg Brock, lefty on lefty matchup. 589. Infield range. More charts. Seven. Seven, 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 seven. Seven for the lefty pull is a up the up the middle second base. So Hinzo is a B, a 98. Actually. That one's going to get through for a hit. So up in the middle. Let's see. Up the middle. Up the middle. Through for a hit. Uh, hard grounder. Runners advance two bases. So that's going to be an RBI single. For Mr. Greg Brock right there. As uh, Hinzo couldn't range over and get it. Glenn Braggs. The kick and the pitch, 789. That is going to be a double. Double into left center field. So the Brewers stringing some hits together. A uh, double is going to find our chart here. Double into left. Center field uh, is Brock a three two six. I believe he is. Brock is a oh he's a one base running. Never mind. Uh, so he's gonna have a two plus a choice. He's a one. The center fielder arm is a zero. 
with two outs. Brewers looking to still down by two. We're going to go ahead and we're going to send him. Greg Brock is a one base running. So the risk is, oh, it's not going to play off. And they're going to cut him down at the plate. So eight to two. Third out. But the Brewers get two back. And man, we are taking forever to play a game right now, aren't we? Chris Bando up. Here yeah, in the top of the fourth, Wegman, we're going to keep him out there. Uh, 031, error check. The error check on the third baseman. Paul Motter is a six, so this possibly could be an error. 23, that one is uh, pulled in, but the throw is off the bag, so... Bando on with an air from Molitor. And Wegman, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine guys have reached base now. Wegman is fatigued here as he comes back to the top of the order. And a 976. And, um, already that fatigue is make a factor as he's going to walk Butler. And, uh, Julio Franco, 268 versus the righty. That'll be a single in the right field. And with it being even, that's an RBI. RBI single for Franco. So Pat Tabler now. 426. Uh, versus the righty. He's going to pop out to the second baseman for the first out of the inning. Wegman struggling to get through here. Hopefully, maybe he can just... Uh, 167, and that's going to be a long fly to center field, but that'll be a tag up for Butler. So Joe Carter, Wegman gets the out, but see, maybe he can uh, get through this here. Mel Hall, 250. He's going to be able to get through it, rolling grounder to first base, and he'll take it himself. But another run. It's 5-2 to two Cleveland in the fourth inning. Bottom of four now. Scott, actually, Scott Bayless, he's at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Runners allowed on base. 8-32. Power check for our deep fly check. Here is seven from for a lefty spray is uh, L to left center sixteen. He is a fair. He's got fair power, so he needs a ninety one and an eighty. So not quite for B J Serhoff one away. Dale Swain. A 146, I believe that'll be a single. Jim Gantner. Oh, uh, he's an excellent hit and run. Uh, yeah, we'll go with the hit and run here. 228. Well, he's hit by a pitch, so. In the lefty lefty matchup. It's our third hit by pitch of the game, and now uh, Bayless is in fatigue here to face Molitor. 434. That's going to be a pop out to the shortstop for the second out.
Robin Yount now. 234. Oh, and that's just, just a bit outside his home run range. And so that'll be the third out of the bottom of the fourth. It is 5-2 Cleveland. Wagman's fatigued. Uh, Jacoby, who we got? A righty, righty. And then both the bottom are, yeah, Jacoby, Snyder, Henzo. It's sort of the bottom of the order. And we'll leave, we'll leave Wagman in for one more, I think. Unless, oh yeah, but we'll have to, a uh, little house rule I play with is that you gotta have someone warming up for at least two batters before you can bring them in the game. So we're gonna get up. Uh, Brewer's bullpen was not very good that year. We're gonna get up uh, the yeah, the righty J Aldrich, Aldrich in the pen, and uh, Bill Wegman here nine forty two. That'll be a power check, and that is scary because Jacoby is an excellent power versus right-handers. But he is an RSP, so right, right center. Oh, he's going the other way with it. 16, he has excellent power. So 80 or above, it's gone. It is not going to be gone for Jacoby, though. So it stays in the ballpark. And, um, they fly out to center. So, you can tell Wegman is tiring here as the dice do not lie. 139. Yeah, he's going to get a long fly to center. So, a few deep drives here to center. And, uh, Tommy Hinzo. Can Wegman get his first one, two, three? 810. No, he absolutely cannot, as that's a hit for Hinzo. Aldrich is warm, but uh, we're gonna leave leave Wegman in the face of Bando. And the 410, he will get the out, a pop up to Greg Brock, and he puts it away. So Wagman finally does not allow a run here. Well, exciting game. Uh, so uh, we'll leave we'll leave Bayless in as he's got uh, lefty righty lefty here. So he's got a few few lefties coming on. We're gonna leave Bayless in for the fifth. Uh, Five ninety four versus a lefty, and that's gonna be another. Hit by pitch in the game. That's the fourth hit by pitch we've had. Man. And this Cleveland team was not very good. Uh, this Brewers team was actually pretty decent. They are not playing like it today. A 986 from the righty deer. That'll be a walk. So two runners on. And Cleveland, they're going to get some action action going in their bullpen. They're going to put up uh, Ed Van Berg, the lefty, and uh, oh, they'll go with Reggie Ryder, the uh, right-hander. So double barrel action in the bullpen, and as uh, Kurt Berglund says, double barrel action, just how he likes it. Out in the uh, Cleveland bullpen. And uh, so Greg Brock to face the lefty Bayless. Let's see if uh, maybe a double play. 9.48. A lefty. Well, as he'll take a strikeout. As that'll be the first out of the inning. Right-hander Glenn Bragg. We're going to keep how oh, Bayless got to stand for one more. 3.36. Um, that's going to be another strikeout. So let's see. Lefty Serhoff. He was actually better against lefties in 87. But we're going to leave Bayless in. He's going to try to get this last out here. 
276, and he's going to do it. A long drive to center, but nothing. So, well, there you go. We get a uh, few no outs there. And, uh, yeah, Wegman's day is over. He's, he's had a, he's had a bit of a struggle there. So, five innings pitched for him. We'll add up his totals a little later. But, Jay, Jay Aldrich, Aldrich, however you say it, I'm going to say Aldrich. But, uh, he's going to face the lefty Brett Butler, uh, 134, not the start he wanted. That's a single from Butler. Julio Franco, 184. And he's going to get a hard grounder to second. That's going to be a four to six to three. And a big double play that the Brewers uh, needed there. Maybe swing this thing in their favor a little bit. And uh, Pat Tabler, 8 79 he's a righty but as soon as they start swinging in favor of the brewers uh tabler goes ahead and knocks a double into the uh center field wall joe carter 250 and uh he's gonna strike out so Aldrich gets him through with no runs. And uh, Dale Swain, the switch hitter, switch hitter lefty righty. Um, uh, well, we're gonna leave. Mm. Swain was the worst first righties, so Bale, Bayless's day is gonna be over as well. Five innings for him. And um, the righty Reggie Reiner in. He was not great, but the uh, entire Cleveland team was not great. So let's see if Swain can do anything versus the righty. 7-0-8. And uh, he's going to get him to fly out. To right, Jim Gantner, the left-hander. 6-10. Uh, that'll be another out. 4-2-3, ground up. And, uh, Paulie Molitor. 2-30. Versus righty and monitor, that's going to be a drive. And that one is out of here. Paul Molitor is going to uh, put the Brewers only down by two now. As he knocked that one out of here, got out in a hurry. Robin Young, right here, this is his inning. 537, outfield range on Niner. Niner on the outfield range. Where am I? We got a nine. RSP gap right center right fielder. Snyder is a B. So into the gap B. 80. That'll be to the wall. So to the wall. Uh, line shot, uh, safe with a double, and, uh, we're not gonna, well, yeah, yeah, we're not gonna try to stretch it with a great arm out there for Snyder, so we won't try to stretch it, and we'll see if Cooper can drive one in, maybe 439, he will not be able to fly out center field. But the Brewers get one back. Five, two, three, through six. 
Oh, who's uh, thinking ahead a little bit? The Brewers got a few righties. So uh, Cleveland is going to get a little better uh, better pitcher pitcher up in the bullpen. We're going to go with Don Gordon in the, in the pen for him. Dan Gordon. So, uh, yeah, and but we're gonna keep Jay Aldrich for the Brewers. So a two o three, Mel Hall. Two o three is gonna be a long fly out to right. Yeah, this is probably the most long flies and uh, hit by pitches I've ever had in. For say the pennant and Rip Jacoby, good hitter 248. That will be a single. Single for Brooke and uh, Corey Snyder. 823. He's a righty. That'll be a single to the grass in center field. And Aldrich has allowed four base runners so two more and he becomes fatigued Tommy Enzo 205 that's gonna be a long fly to center but there's a runner on second so he'll tag up and go to third and Chris Bando can Aldrich uh, get the get the out here 385. He will get her done on a grounder to second. Get the Brewers get through the seventh with no damage. And um, Rob Deer now to face uh, Don Gordon. One inning from Ryder. And Don. Gordon on uh, now for Cleveland against Rob Deer. We got a 546. 546 is a uh, infield range check. Uh, righty uh, three for a righty pull. That is going to be a line drive to third base. And, uh, Jacoby is a B, so, at uh, 27, he's gonna make the leaping, spectacular grab for Deer and, uh, Greg, Greg Brock now, the lefty, first on Gordon, 350, that is gonna be a double. Well, Greg Brock is, man, he's got a lot of those in this replay. And uh, Glenn Braggs, the right-hander with a runner on second. 318. Struck him out. Two away now for the lefty BJ Serhoff. 269, and that's going to be a long drive. To center, but not enough. So, two innings left to roll here. And uh, we've got um, uh, nobody was up for the Brewers. That is going to be my fault. So, Aldridge will come out to face the top of the order. And uh, we're, they're going to have a The Brewers are going to put up uh, the Mark, Mark Clear in the pen. Stand him up, get him ready to go. I'll see if Aldrich can get the get their three here. Brett Butler, 843. That's going to be a deep fly, but he is a, and so he's only, he's a fair. So he's still a shot. And that is LSP. He's hitting that one the other way. 
to left center, so that is a 16. Fair for a 16, he needs a 91 or up, he rolls a 14. So that is a long fly to center for Butler. First out. Julio Franco now. 591 infield range. And what do we got here? Infield range and a six for RSP. Uh, up the middle, second base. So let's see Gantner. He's a B for up the middle. Let's see if he can make a play here. 31. He's going to make a lunging grab. And he's going to get him by a step. Pat Tabler now. Being a right hander. 208. Oh, and that's going to be a long fly to center for an out. So Aldrich has pitched three scoreless. Didn't even need to go to clear. But now the Brewers are going to Swaim as they are going to have, they got six outs left. Don Gordon's going to stay in to face Swaim. 185, he's a righty in Swaim. That one's a drive. That one is back and looking up and gone. A home run for Dale Swaim. Jim Gantner now. Well, maybe the Brewers are coming back here. As it is 5-4 Cleveland, and that is going to get Doug Jones up in their bullpen. Gantner now, 163. That is going to be a one-base knock. So, uh, Gordon is a long, re long reliever, so he's still good to his fatigue. But Paul Molitor, here he is, 261. He's going to draw a walk. So, first and second now for Robin Yount. Let's see, can Gordon get that double play ball here? 499. But high fly to center field for the first out. And the lefty Cooper. Cooper is, uh, who's better at first lefties? Gordon is better than first lefties, so we're going to keep him in. Cooper, a 308, and he's going to strike out. Two, now first and second. Um, again, Gordon better. Better versus uh, righties. So, dear, not great versus righties. Gordon's going to go for the one. He's going to, they're going to keep him in. Trying to get this last out here. First and second. 871. Oh, and they kept him in too long. That's going to be a double. And this one is tied. For sure. Hold on. Double. Double line into center field. Can the Brewers maybe take the lead here? They might try it to center field. Um, LCF. Uh, he's going to score. Monitor is going to come from that got to the wall in center. And that's going to be two RBIs for Rob Deere. And the Brewers take the lead here in the eighth. Wow. What a game. And uh, that'll get the call for, from Doug Jones as he goes one and two thirds and uh, or from Gordon. And Doug Jones has to come in to relieve him against Greg Brock. Oh man, Greg Brock now, 982. And that will end the inning. I'm going to ground it a second. But... The Brewers score three in the bottom of the eighth. And that immediately means uh, Plesak, even though he wasn't warming up, 
who was a closer. I forgot to say that, and I don't want to break my own rule. So he'll have to uh, come in fatigued, as I was not, I was not thinking ahead there. But uh, Police Knack will have to come in the ball game fatigued, as Aldrich had three innings. As he is in line for the win right now, if the Brewers can hold Cleveland to nothing here. The lefty Dan Plesak, 276. He's going to get a strikeout. Mel Hall, 396. Yeah, it's another strikeout. Two away now. Dan Plesak. Here he is, Brooke Jacoby, best hitter in the Cleveland lineup. 330. And this one's going to keep going as he draws a walk. Oh boy. Okay, Corey Snyder. Here he is. Down to the Cleveland, down to their final out. Snyder, 135. And that is a drive to center field. It's deep, but not deep enough. And the Milwaukee Brewers come back. What a ball game. They come back from behind. And they manage a big win. What a good game that was. Wow. Yep. Wow, wow, man. Okay. Uh, good game there. So, uh, Doug Jones had one third inning. And then Plesak in with the uh, save. And Aldrich gets the win. And Gordon's going to get the loss. So, that'll move Milwaukee to 23 and 14. Here as uh, the final score six to five, the Brewers had one air, Cleveland had none. Cleveland had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven hits on no airs. The Brewers had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen hits. So, baseball was flying around the ballpark today. And, um, yeah, that was, that was a good ball game. So, uh, thanks for watching Tabletop Sports, uh, universe and uh i hope you enjoyed as the brewers come out victorious six to five in this one keep rolling everybody have a great one keep on rolling